Beautiful people of the Most High God, I hope you're doing blessed. And this word is a word of encouragement. And one thing the wicked and the evildoers do not understand about touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. God wants you to know, he wants me to break down the word harm. All right, because these people think because they don't touch you physically that they're not doing you harm. But let's read the definition of harm. And then God wants me to break down what he's talking about with touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Yes, don't touch them and, and don't harm them. Don't harm them physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially. Don't hurt their reputation. Let, let's look at what harm means because these diabolical beings and diabolical creatures think because they don't touch you that in some way, shape, or form they're not being punished. But they don't understand what harm means. So let's go to the definition of harm. They're not supposed to, harm means injury. They're not supposed to cause you no injury. Harm means hurt. They're not supposed to cause you no hurt. Harm means pain. They're not supposed to cause you any pain. Harm means suffering. They're not supposed to cause you any suffering. Harm means distress. They're not supposed to cause you any form of distress. Harm means anguish. They're not supposed to cause you any anguish. Harm means trauma. They're not supposed to cause you any trauma. Harm means torment. They're not supposed to torment you. Harm means grief. They're not supposed to cause you any grief. Harm means damage. They're not supposed to cause any damage to anything that belongs to you or any damage to you. Impairment. They're not supposed to cause any form of impairment. Dis harm is destruction. They're not supposed to cause any destruction. Harm is loss. They're not supposed to cause any loss. Harm is ruin. They're not supposed to cause any ruin to anything that belongs to you or your name or your reputation. De harm means defacement. Harm means defilement. They're not supposed to cause any form of defilement to you. Harm means mischief. They are not supposed to cause any mischief to you or for you. All right? Wound. They're not supposed to wound you. Maltreat you. They're not supposed to maltreat you. Mistreat you. They're not supposed to mistreat you. Ill treat you. They're not supposed to ill treat you. It abuse you. They're not supposed to abuse you. Molest you. They're not supposed to molest you. Inflict pain on you. They're not supposed to inflict pain on you. Inflict suffering on you. No. Handle, treat roughly. Do violence to you. They're not supposed to do any violence. Lay a finger on you. They're not supposed to lay a finger on you. That's the touch knot spoil you they're not supposed to spoil you or mere anything that you have destroy you blemish you tarnish you tarnish your name or tarnish anything that belongs to you do you understand they're not supposed to do anything to you physically spiritually mentally financially verbally to cause you any harm no abuse and this is what they're being punished for and they 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 fail to realize what touch not God's anointed and do his prophets no harm mean. They, some of them feel like if I don't touch them, I'm good. They're, they're, they're actually not. Because if they're causing any, any form of any of these things, injury, hurt, pain, suffering, distress, anguish, trauma, torment, ill treatment, damage, impairment, loss, ruin, defacement, defilement, mischief in any way, shape, or form to you. That is causing, that is doing you harm. Okay? And this is what God wants me to explain. That they're, they're, they're not going unpunished. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. If they cause you any form of harm with your reputation, with your finances, with your health, with anything that belongs on to you, or anything that you're supposed to have, they're under judgment. Because that is a form of harm. If they harmed you verbally, that is a form of harm. If they were out here slandering your name, causing you ruin, to ruin your reputation, that is a form of harm. They have no business touching God's anointed and doing his prophet's harm in any way, shape, or form. Okay? 
beautiful people, this is what God wants me to explain to you. That these people are absolutely delusional, thinking that if they touch you not physically, that that in some way, shape, or form, they could still do witchcraft and sorcery and magic and, you know, ruin your reputation, trouble your finances. That is a form of harm. Troubling someone's well-being, that is a form of harm. Troubling someone's health, that is a form of harm. Troubling someone's stability, that is a form of harm. S troubling someone's credibility, that is a form of harm. These these things are harmful. And they're under judgment for these things. And this is what God wanted me to come out here, come on here and speak about. Because I did make a video before that he had me put together about touch not my anointed and do his prophets no harm. And there have been people who have repented for their evil works for touching God's anointed. But they still continue to do them harm. In, those pla in these ways that I've just explained, injury, hurt, pain, suffering, impairment, destructions, and mischiefs, and things like that, and hurting them physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, these things are caused, that's harm. Financially, that's harm. They're, they're not supposed to do nothing to them. These people that God selected, those people who are anointed, and those people who are his prophets, don't touch them don't harm them in any way shape or form and the people who have been going about still doing them harm thinking because they don't touch them they're under punishment and judgment by him i love you all beautiful people just delivering the message take care and stay blessed